Can you lift up those hands and let's appreciate him? He is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the I am that I am, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. Lift up your hands and let's worship him. It's been six days on this mountain. <laughs> He's too malaki she falandro keziliaras. Give him praise. Lift up your eyes to him and lift up your hands and let's worship him. Give him glory. You are much less love, beauty less love. Nothing in this world can satisfy. Cause Jesus Are you still here? Come on, let's go. Who is like you, Lord? Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Oh, Zamila Kota Bilo Kalabala. Oh, Lord, beauty and bless, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Nothing in this world can satisfy. Nothing in this world can satisfy. Oh, you are Who is like you, Lord? Lift up your voice and worship Him. Nothing in this world can satisfy. Your presence is heaven to me. Louder, let's go. Come on. Your presence is heaven. Is up your hands oh Jesus oh Jesus your presence is heaven to me oh Jesus oh Jesus by signs and wonders your presence is ever to me. Lift up your hands. Let's appreciate him. Oh, Jesus. Your hands lifted up. This is the sixth day and the last day on this mountain. Is heaven to me, oh, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, your presence is heaven to me. Soon answer, yeah, soon. Wonder ya feet can soon answer Yesu. Wonder ya feet can soon answer Yesu. Wonder ya feet can soon answer Yesu. Oh, mashallah. 
Lift up your hands and let's appreciate him. Stop looking at me and say, lift up your hands and appreciate him. If you have known him, lift up your hands and appreciate him. Come on. Crown are dropping this morning. Lift up your hands. It's a day of separation unto God. Lift up your hands and let's appreciate him. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Neither has any heart perceived what God have in stock. Come on, lift up your hands. Not your feet, I will let not your feet I run it. But it's of the Lord that showed mercy. The race is not made for the swift. It's not battle for the strong. It's not food for the wise. But time and chance. Come on, come on. Worship him this morning. Oh, Yaborada Shakabalia. Oh, let go, Sabilo, the man, the Keller of Shala. Oh, oh, Mina Salovin, Yana Corina Nishadi. I am in Osa La Vola de Mana and Egaria. Oh, Minoza Minogani, Malashova Lagadi. Ita famino tagabali adale kalagozadia. Your father will be here before 6 p.m. today. That person there, your father won't die. Lift up your hands and let's worship him. Let's unlock him, the heavens, in worship. Ah. I am dying, O oh Lord, I have heard thy word. <laughs> hey. Oh, Jesus. Kai. <laughs> Draw me near. Blessed Lord, to the cross where thou art found. Draw me nearer, draw me nearer. Oh, nearer, blessed Lord, oh, to the precious Let's go. You take verse two. Let's go. One to go. of the Sabbath, I'm a man of Sunday morning. Amen? Because I'm a pastor of church. Is that okay? So, there's a way to ascend. Are you ready? 
all the, all the pure delights of a single hour, that before thy throne I stand, when I kneel in prayer, and with thee, my God, I commune as friend with friend. Lift up your hands to God. Oh, the pure delight of a single heart that before the throne I spent. Listen to those wordings. When I kneel, when I kneel in prayer, and with thee, my God, and with thee, my God, I commune. This morning, Shubulaba Bolo Belekanda Sukabala Kobro Dosika Deyele Zula Beleka. Eternal Father, thank you for the gift of another day. I appreciate you for this privilege of fellowshipping with the saints. I ask the Lord in the brevity of time that I communicate your internal counsel. Touch my lips of clay. Cause the line upon line, precept upon precept. I will deliver just your counsel. Hide myself behind the cross. I ask that in this house this morning... And as we look up to the last day of Festival of Glory 2023, let thy kingdom come. Amen. Let thy will be done. In the name of Jesus. Can you look at somebody and tell the person, you will finish well. If you are not an unbeliever, turn to somebody else and say, you will finish strong. If you believe you have power in your mouth, walk to somebody and say, you will finish well. And you will finish strong. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout and take your seat. Amen. I bring you greetings from the Caliphate. Amen. That is what I'm popularly called, the Caliphate. I don't know. The, that is not the baptism name. Praise God. It's a long time coming. I've looked forward to this day 10 years ago. <laughs> oh, Apostle, thank you. Thank you. Mama, thank you. I know you're looking at me like a strange man. <laughs> I'm also washing the blood. And you can scan. <laughs> but please, when you see anything wrong, tell me so that I can repent. <laughs> Praise God. Ten years ago, to February 2012, I was driving with my brother, Austin. I stayed in his house that night in February. And he was playing one message all through the night. We started from sometime around 9 p.m. and played in morning. Austin has grown under our watch. We've gone through several things together. He's, he has slept in my house. He will pray one prayer around church, break all the benches, and then end up sleeping in my house. And so I know him. I know his exploit on the other side of life. So he was playing this message all through the night. And I... Then the morning he was going to drop me off at the airport. He said, play the same, playing another message. I said to him, Austin, who will be this one where you did play since last night? He said, brother, hmm. now one man of God, 
We have a young brother, Melody, who had gone to the University of Bini and had come in contact with Apostle, attended a meeting in the University of Bini, and they packed the cassette and gave CD and gave to Reverend Austin. The first thing I asked him, I said, he gave power. <laughs> because I love the supernatural. Uh, I will, so I'm going to share with us this morning, Jesus, by signs and wonders. I said, he gave power. He said, no, 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 be matter of power. It is, this is word. I said, then leave it. I just returned from one of my friends, mentor, prophet, Kubo's variables. I time with him twice. The last time when we were together, and he said, Benjamin, are you coming in Easter? I told Reverend Simeon, the man we went together, when we left there, I said, this man will soon die. So whatever is not happening. And he died that year. How many of you have heard of Kubo's before? I just walked into the living room of my senior pastor and was playing Kubo's because we were brought up in power. But power without character will land in disaster. I discovered that early. So my mainstay aside from prayer is integrity. Uh, integrity. So when I came in, I saw the man ministering with shirt flight. Even the coughlin was not there. I said, Which kind, what of kind of man is this? I said, just watch. I said, no, this one is not, it's not organized. Let's look for somewhere that's organized. A few months later, I went to South Africa, you know, had some time with him, came back again. He asked that. I, I went to a meeting, so I saw his teaching. He believes in immortality, that man will not die. He died six times, the seven times he didn't come back. He's learned for what you believe. <laughs> uh, he believes in immortality. I don't believe in that. I know scripture. Uh -huh. We are able to use scripture to explain scripture. But notwithstanding, I, was, I saw power. And I knew that power was genuine. Two things I had with Prophet Kobus, so rest in peace. When he came up one day and he was in a string to people, and then he said for seven years he has not fasted. Mm -mm. I came from the background where this type does not go except by what? <laughs> so God, do what you want to do. Let me receive. You must learn to filter words. Uh, so I watched him, followed him, saw leg grew. He told me one time, he said, come, come, come on. I watched like this, saw leg grew, leg grew. People, people. Then the next time he turned, boom, he sand on me. Thank you, sir. Okay. So when Austin told me about Apostle, I said, he, I was just coming like three months from that. I said, he gave power, power, power. I love power. John Gillick, I read all his book. I was married, getting married to my wife, and she was talking about, um, I can't forget, Tim Lae. Um, this um, for love language. I said, well, this is carnality. <laughs> what are you talking about? But later on in life, I realized that I needed that thing. You know? mm -hmm. I, I, saw, I, knew, I knew I needed it. She was busy reading those things. I'm a very conservative person, my wife. Mm -hmm. She was Billy's people. She started her Christian life here, Makodi, attending Bile. So we are two. We are power, power, power. My devotional was Smith Wugu's word book. That was, that was what I used for devotional. Uh, Smith Wugu's word. I read Good Morning Holy Spirit in 1999 until I had personal encounter. Jesus appeared in a choir bomb while I was serving as a youth copper. Hmm? Power. Power. But I don't go to look for it. One of my friends, <laughs> in the bid of this search for power, told me he watched one man. I don't. I don't. He woke up. He, 
he watched from Friday till Saturday. And then he went to church in the morning. He said he find himself like. I said, oh boy. <laughs> what you watch matters. I said, the spirit has entered you. Come for deliverance. <laughs> you won't teach, no word. They'll be calling one name. I said, this one. The, the, the disciple cast out demon by calling Emmanuel. Oh, God, this is for me. I was in a foreign country with my wife. That was like 13, 2013. And I met a man of God, a Nigerian. So he said, Pastor Ben, he said, you won't pass, yes. So there's this popular man of God. I wouldn't want to call his name. He's in Nigeria, very popular, pulling all the crowd. So he came to America at that time, word of knowledge, car number, a plate number, whatever. So he told me, he said, this man is around. Can we meet him? I said, no. So even in the quest for power, we find the original. And that is by discernment of spirit. You know the first error? The man, when he saw me, said, when you are coming for this kind of journey, next time my brother, don't come with your wife. I should go with my wife. I said, okay. He said, then... Um, it is simple. Snap a picture at yeah, the white background and send it. We send it to Ghana. I was, this wasn't story to, to me. Ah, I was driving back with my wife on the train. I was quiet for a long time. The first thing for us is whatever we separate you from your wife, check it. I shouldn't come with my wife. My wife asked me, where is his wife? He was a divorcee. That one is question mark. When a gullible generation, where a man will stand before a church on Sunday morning, somebody showed me the video, and I said, fire, it was a fire. I said, I want to say something. He said, okay, what is that? Me yeah, and Mama, we have separated. Fire. They say fire. Say, these people are not. <laughs> you know, I, don't, I don't know what this man is saying. You divorce your wife, you are asking us to shout fire. And you are shouting fire. You are lost. Uh, so I disconnected from that immediately. Disconnected. So I continue following, watching. I saw Austin's life change gradually. Saw what God was doing in his life, notwithstanding. Notwithstanding. I'm this man that waits. I've been with the ministry where I served. I've been serving for 23 years now as a pastor. Praise God. I know what it means to wait. When you don't wait, you waste. When you don't wait, you waste. So Austin was bereaved of his father, so we had to take him back. I, he came to Sokoto. I went with him back to Lagos. We met Apostle waiting for him. Apostle read the other day the, on the scripture, um, Psalm 18. He was talking about secret sin, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 our earthly body and all of that. So we had fellowship that evening and they went to drop apostle. The thing strike a very strong chord, but I still withdrew and I waited. I was waiting. 2022, February, fast forwarding, I told my pastor then, 9th of September, 2021, that I was going to leave the ministry and I have this privilege of fathers, if I call their name, fathers, I mean fathers, bishops, Bishop Michael Kunko, Bishop Wale Oke, Bishop, if I call fathers, direct contact with them. And everybody I've spoken to has said to me that, look, what you carry is not for that place. Leave. Leave. Ah, everybody close, leave. So I told my senior pastor, I want to, I think it's time to go. 
I said, if you are going, what, who are you leaving this thing for? So in the, you know, in the brevity of that period, the body of Christ came together and said, look, we want you to have, take up a responsibility on behalf of the body and of this region. And, um, you know, it took me three months to just give a yes. Some things that people fight for, go to court and battle with, no, because that wasn't the focus. After three months, five months later, I, I, even when I told them yes, five months later I met with Apostle. I'd gone through a very extended fasting. You know that kind of fasting where nothing, when I mean nothing, I just, I wouldn't want to say too much, nothing, no food, nothing, you understand? In the final day of that fast, in February, I told my wife, went somewhere to an hotel. I said, I want to stay here for days. So she locked the hotel from outside and went with the key. It was indeed the, because no food, nothing. So in the course of prayer, what terrible hunger came? <laughs> I called, I, I said, eh, the voice too was gone. I said, where, where are you? Come on, put this door. <laughs> bring water. Let me drink water. <laughs> as soon as she came, I just said, I'm going to Lagos. I'm going to Lagos. I went to the camp. If you understand the camp, you know where I'm going. That big camp, Lagos Ibarra Expressway. I pray, I walk all of that camp. I fasted, no food, no water for days. Pray, I walk there because I had met the Lord, spoke to me audibly in 1998 in that same camp. So I went back there. I do that from time to time. So I went back there and nothing. I didn't hear pim. So this meeting was going on RC in Lagos, reigning by righteousness. So I, I was passing by. I said, let me stop. And I stopped. Apostle was there, was seated. Tundi Bakari, Pastor. I just sat down. They didn't know what I was going through. So I said, let me see Apostle. That night, just that night, 9th February 2022, that night, he spoke for about 15 minutes and touched me here. did like this. Stay. Wait. I'll come. Pew. The heavens open. Things turned. I boarded the flight before I got to Sokoto. I said, my wife, cook, swallow. <laughs> you see, you know, continue. <laughs> what is the essence of the fasting where God has spoken? <laughs> Let me eat. And from there, the thing turned. Now, when I say to you things turned, you won't understand. There are certain things we may not understand until we meet in eternity with God. Amen. Meet with eternity, in eternity with God. So listening to his messages, I didn't tell anybody. Lock up myself, listening for days. And Sometimes the same message I'll be preparing will be the same message as preaching. So I send him to the apostle. This message you are preaching is what I've been talking about for days old. But I will preach my own in the church way. He said, no, 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 no problem. Large hearts. I've worked with fathers. If I have worked with fathers, I mean, I'm not talking about the one. Somebody saw me here recently, one pastor saw me here. He said, ah, Oga, what are you doing here? I said, what you, what are you doing here? You know, the first two days I came, I just stayed at the back. So he said, ah, you can get good, good, good to phone. I said, I want to pray, I want to pray. pray. I said, he said, well, what are you doing? I said, you, what are you doing here? There's a place we normally meet in Abuja, and there's a sort of conference going on there. He said, you, you can get good. I said, you, you marry from that family. Why are you? <laughs> and from UK, they come. Now I come here, so... From UK now, they come, I come here, so I had to do family meeting with my children. Call them together, I say, look, hear me. I'm going to look for destiny. <laughs> Stay two more, two more weeks to do what? Married for 21 years. 
Give the Lord a big clap. Married, 21 years, no girlfriend, one wife, five children. Praise God. Thank you, sir. The rest is coded. But once again, before heaven, whom we are gathered this morning, because several things that happen in the secret. And I will be turning 50. Presumably, it's like this. At 50 years, I'll be next year. I told the apostle, I said, there's something. There's something. Amen. Pastor, in the church, if I tell you some of the fathers, you look at what you go run, people run after, run after, run after. I said, there's something I need to talk to you about. Then I go. Praise the Lord. Once again, you may not understand, but thank you. Thank you, sir. Give a lot of big clap. <laughs> part of what has formed my, my, part of my mental formation is my background. I came from an extreme diabolical family. Then my own grandparent became Muslim and my father Christian. That's how I came into Christianity. Amen. I've lived about 40 years and I miss the people from the other religion. You know what I'm talking about. I've lived among them, schooled among them, and I've become one of their major headache. Amen. And then I grew up in the military, Army Barak. Father was a retired soldier. So there is something that has formed my own ideology about life. One of it is the military formation. In the military, there's what we call the garrison. How many of you have heard of garrison before? And if you read your scripture, you hear the garrison of the Philistine. David had to develop a garrison in scripture. There's something about the garrison. The garrison is the strength of the military. Now, the artillery, you hear of artillery, you hear of garrison, you know, the artillery is under the garrison. Now, the people in charge of the barrack is a garrison commander. There's always a garrison commander, there's a brigade commander, or as the case may be. I have some few officers around me, so I know these things very well, and I grew up in the army barracks. So, in the garrison, that is where the main people who take charge of military affairs are being trained. The act of handling weapon, the act of warfare, war, I mean, is in the garrison. The garrison is a strength, like you have the chief of army staff, the most strongest person in the military, and if there's going to be a cool data, must be the chief of defense staff. Without the chief of defense staff, certain things may not happen in the military if there's going to be a coup. So even though we have the chief of the army staff, the main person that controls the strength of the military is the chief of what? Defense staff. Amen? The Lord said to me that this morning, being the last day of Festival of Glory 2023, that right before him and me seated here today are the garrison officers. Now, let me, let me take you a little further. What we are doing, I'm, I, I am I'm so grateful to God, and I know this is divine, that I have this few minutes in the last morning section to just share this thought with us. And yesterday, God's servant said there's going to be impartation. You don't understand. The soldiers who are trained to handle the garrison are not do not go through the normal training like other soldiers. Now, when you get to the rank of a captain, you hear the Bible talk about the captains of the 50 and all of that. Now, when you get to the, the rank of a captain, you begin to find your pathway in the military. Then when you get to major, there is a training you, un, you must undergo for you to get into the garrison. 
Praise the Lord. So, so you may have 10,000 um, rank and file. They are not in any way compared to two general in the garrison. You know what I'm saying? Somebody may have a church, for instance, because this is our own uh, constituency, a 22,000 seaters auditorium and 22,000 people, that is good. But it cannot be compared to a man who has two generals in the world. Follow me. The generals are trained to coordinate the multitude, the rank and files. Alu Stafali, to clean and pull it eager. Listen, here this morning, there are men that will be released to the field. The Lord said to me, some of you here, not every one of us will be on the pulpit. Not every one of us. Mark it. There is a young man that you've been praying and trusting the Lord. You're sitting somewhere around here. For ministry. Listen, hear this well. What is coming on you this morning will take nine years of manifestation. Nine. Don't be in a hurry to set out. If you hurry out, you finish small. Whatever must stand strong must gain root downward. Are you here with me? Whatever must stand strong must be rooted downward. There are some of us here this morning, the impartation coming on us is going to be on the political field, on politics. There are men here this morning who will release you to take the place of politics in Nigeria. Now, in the next dispensation from this gathering here this morning, there are men here by this impartation coming on us, God is sending you out there to change the narrative. Now, if you will doubt anything, you won't doubt this. Don't doubt it. Great men in economics, men that will control finance of nation. No, these people are not hearing me. Is there something wrong with my face? No. I want to be sure. I was when I was preaching in England. Everybody stood down and looked at me like, the whole white people. So, because I didn't know how to win, win, win. You know, what's the name of that church? Everybody white. I was only black. So I stopped. I said, Can you hear me? He <laughs> says, I said, Okay. I said, um, Philippians 2 8. Can somebody read for us? And somebody stood up and read. I said, Okay, that means you are hearing me. <laughs> Stop looking at me like in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There's somebody, you are the second born in the family. And everything about that family is inch on you. The, the impartation is coming. I'm not the one, it's the Lord of the house that we do it. Ah, in the name that is greater than every other name. Something is coming on you this morning. Amen. Ah, may you not forget when God begins to use you. Ah, Jesus. Ah, you heard about oh, Jesus. L let's wave our hands and just appreciate him. C can we just pray in the Holy Ghost in two minutes? Pray in the Holy Ghost two minutes. Ah, Oh Lord, set my heart on fire for you, hey, for you. Hey, oh Lord, set my heart on fire for.
for you. Hey, yeah, for you. Oh, 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 set my heart in order for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You may be seated. Thank you. Help me look at somebody and say, get ready. Ah, oh, Jesus. Look at somebody and say, get ready. Jesus, by signs and what? Wonders. Sometimes in meetings like this, you don't know what has come on you. You don't know. I remember years back, we prayed so much for a very long time. And we came out 1 a.m. with the brethren. We saw a madman. What we pray, let's demonstrate it now. The man was going on his own. Hey, come. Turn. Ah. I tapped the other guy. The thing is working. Power. power. <laughs> if power enter you, if you are not careful, that's why people do all sorts. Ah. Ah. But long before now, I had been able to build foundation. I listened to a tape. Three days, no food, no water. Ah, by WF Kumui. Signs and wonder for church growth. So, you know cassette? You know cassette? Some of you will know it's cassette. You know that video they put like this? They're slotting. Charles and Francis Hunter. For you to finish one of Charles and Francis Hunter, it must be three hours. You know, instead of watching India film. That was what we were watching. Yeah, the man came. What's your name? I can never forget. His name is Ishaka. Eh? Where are you coming from? He said, Lori. Want to be healed? He said, Yes. When I held down, we prayed for him. Beep, 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 beep. We finished praying. He said, Thank you. We said, Go. What foolishness. We asked him to go. The man just left. It was years later I realized that. It was just zeal without knowledge. Ola picked that man, clean him up. We allowed him to return to his devices. Two years later, I didn't know the thing was inside. I was doing a meeting. We were doing a meeting somewhere in Kwanawa. And they brought a madman. Hey, the man became well. Brought another one to church. Hey, became well. The whole people I had that time was mad people. Church, <laughs> mad <laughs> I know madness, if you heal a madman, you have to maintain him. Uh, because there are always excesses. So sometimes, service will be going on, you should have just stand up. <laughs> the the, the deliverance was not complete. <laughs> so I realized that, what? one of my PA was a person, somebody that went, he became my PA for 10 years. That's, that's part of the testimony. We became very conscious of science and wonder. A sister came. I mean, I said the brother died. Abdullah, I can never forget. We ran to the hospital, mortuary. Abdullah, Abdullah, come back to life. We're standing at the door. We heard brrrr inside the mortuary. Boom! <laughs> Took off. Everybody left. Everybody left. It was when we got to the gate of Udut. When I looked at one and I said, Ibila, I say you don't wake up. Why, why, why did we run? I hope you can handle what is about to come on you. Can you handle it? Receive grace to handle it. When God baptizes you financially, may it not multiply your women. Amen. Say a louder amen, come on. Amen. When God, stretch forth your hand, stretch forth your hand. When God multiply us financially, may our atrocity not multiply. Amen. Sit down. He said, Damas, have you read about Damas? Who forsook Paul? Oh, brother, Damas was very anointed, full of life. Paul took Demas to Thessalonica. Demas saw the beauty. Ah! When they left Thessalonica, he said to Paul, I want to go back. 
That was why he said, Demas forsook me. He saw the beauty of the riches in Thessalonica. And he left for Thessalonica. When our riches increase, may our atrocity not increase. Yeah. Oh, Alexander the Coppersmith did me much evil. Ah, but the Lord, Paul went through certain things because of brethren. Alexander was confronting Paul in Ephesus. So that message was for Timothy. Beware of Alexander. He was a coppersmith, very wealthy man, but always attacking Paul whenever he preaches. I pray for us today by this impartation. By this impartation. May he be for his glory. It will happen. Nine months from now, it will happen. Look, for some of us here, it will happen. It will happen. We had the mission report. It will happen. Some of you is for the purpose of the kingdom. Not for designer suits. It's for the purpose. Not to multiply. It's for the kingdom. And I missed of us this morning. There shall be a circumcision that will separate men for his purpose. Can I hear louder? Amen. Amen. Yeah. Can you handle what is about to come? Ah, I'll read just one scripture. We're done. And then we pray. We pray for this evening. I'll pray for ourselves. The grace will come. It's coming. Ah, so we ran away. You are the one praying to raise the dead. You went to mortuary. You heard you were praying. We prayed by faith. Ah, Come back! The thing, boom, 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 we ran. Years later, I was in a meeting. I just finished and dropped the mic. It was a meeting that ran throughout the weekend, and I had to do a money section. It was an open air meeting. So when I finished, I was going to go gingerly. One woman just cried from nowhere with a dead child, Dada, dreadlock, and dropped the child on the altar. Hi! I said, if I knew, I would have gone five minutes before now. <laughs> ah! How? how I, I didn't tell them, yeah, I can raise the dead. Too. What do we do now? In the brevity of three seconds, I said, everybody stretch forth your hand. Lift up your hand. Let's worship God. While they were worshiping, I was thinking of what to do. <laughs> ah! But you have prayed before. You lay hands on the sick, they shall be healed. I raise dead. So they started praying, all of them. And then the child sneezed. Hey! Eh? On the altar there. He said, hey! I told the pastor, invited, bring the child up, let's see. Bring the child up. I said, amen. <laughs> Show that. <laughs> I don't want to hear he die the second time. <laughs> you know, I'm not the one. <laughs> we all pray. It was later called the pastor. Ah, he's the boy. He said, he's doing very well. Thank you, man of God. I said, leave it there. Second of April, I just came back from visiting with my family, entered church, everybody excited. One child just died. Bim. The child started conversing, conversing. Second of April, I can never forget this year. To her, I said, which kind? I sat there, the woman brought the child, threw the child on me. I said, waiting be this. Everybody started praying. The child, Jacob, came back to life. And whenever you see signs and wonder, the grace and boldness increase. Praise God. There are dimensions. When I met Apostle in that February, I got to church, two services. Somebody called me and said, ah, Do you know Apostle Aaron? I said, It's my brother. I said, Hey, when you were, I saw, so I said, I just saw him now. So what I'm saying is that with this fellowship, there are men from here. It's territory you are going to take. See, see, don't be excited and answer amen to I'm telling you what is real. You are here, it's an implication. Uh, you have implicated yourself. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You will know men who speak by God. You will know. It doesn't take time. Very soon, you will know. 
and discover that something has entered you. But this is my prayer for you. May we manage it well. May you manage it well. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Now, the purpose for all of these encounters, all of this impartation coming this morning is for just one purpose. Somebody say one purpose. I don't have all the time. One purpose. Acts of Apostles chapter 1 and verse 8. You shall receive power. Huh? But you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you and ye. See, what we have in the church, and that has been the problem of the church, and most of our fathers and our churches do not want to hear this. The greatest problem of the church is around the Pentecostals. I've been there for a while, I can tell you. That you lay hands on somebody and they fall under the power is not a proof of a call. Does not guarantee you should start a ministry. Nobody says so what we do. How can? How can? How can? Somebody just live life, you know, and people still gather. One recently said, God burned down his church. Can you hear that? I saw one clip that they said somebody, you know, LMLMA was not working. A man's manhood wasn't working. And he came to church and he said he was praying. And right before people's face, something, come on, come on. We are people. We are, we are not even sure if it's the Holy Ghost that is at work. It's obvious. Yes. We are people with a crowd. We are people. We are people on television everywhere. But they are not witness. They are not. And you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost come upon you. And ye shall be my worth. The purpose of the power and of the Holy Ghost is to be a word. Matters. In Greek, matters. Is to be a witness. Who is a witness? You can have a good case and a witness will finish you. How many of you understand that? You go to court with a terrible witness. Good case. So why the church in Nigeria is suffering is because the witness are not right. Now, oh God, he said, ye shall be. So everything you will receive is to be my worth, witness. Hence, John said, that which we have seen, that which our hands have handled, the word of life. First John chapter 1 and verse 1 to 2. We deliver unto you. We are people in our auditorium, Christians, but no witness. Men that we witness of the resurrection of Jesus. We don't have them. Some of us on the pulpit have never had encounter. I don't encounter. So we have nothing to say. Paul's encounter in Acts of Apostles chapter 9 changed the whole of his life narrative. And he said, I was not disobedient to the heavenly calling. He knew what he saw. So he was rugged with his life. When this power comes on you today, ah, is that even as a classroom teacher, you will be a witness. Amen. I've lived with these people for some time. We don't know so much about their malams, but we know about them. A Muslim man will not be in an office and there will be no altar there. If we have a mat somewhere where he prays always. I entered a place on Friday and the whole place smoke everywhere. And I said to the brethren, what is happening here? Very mighty person. I said, what's going on here? And he said, every Friday they must burn this essence. I said, and you as Christians, what are you doing here? When they begin to burn his speaking tongues. I entered for just five minutes and came out. The MD looked at the window and said, who is that person? Says Pastor Musa, he came here. How? What did he come to do? 
Please tell him, can we see him? I said, tell him I've gone. You pray in tongues. You see them with an office, they have a mouth. But you believers, Christians, you, can, you can't, we don't even come together to pray. You know why? So that you won't be sacked. You'll be sacked one day. It's either you sack, you are sacked or you sack yourself. Just know the work. You must be a witness. You are driving Okada a witness. We have too many plain Christians who are not witness. Let, let me say this here. The welcome home faithful servant on that last day is going to be for witness. Not for everybody. Because Jesus is the only true and faithful witness. You live here this morning. You find yourself in the UK, be a witness. In America, be a witness. What are you witnessing? Jesus Christ. You remember the technology of those people who used to carry bag in the morning and magazine to sell? You remember those people? It's like they are scarce now. You remember them? Those people who will follow you up until you read that paper. And when you are done reading it, they will visit you again. Oh, I had two people like that that left them, told me. They are so indoctrinated to believe that the only thing they can display to their world is to be a Jehovah witness. A Jehovah witness. Where are the Christ's witnesses? Where are they? Sir, what has dominated 90% of our pulpit is self. That's the truth. Self. Self. I. I. Somebody park stadium, you go to the same city to park stadium. Self. Somebody went to Canada, another person is going there. Self. We know these things. Somebody is in UK, park people, somebody has run another meeting. Self. Ask them to come to the north. Ask them. Apostle freely came for the first time in 30 years of ministry with the kind of people we have attracted, that altar, Bishop Michael Konko, Bishop Wu, the, the leaders of the Christian body. We have about three that has mounted that altar. Nobody did what you did. Nobody. Nobody. None. Nobody did. Nobody had ever said, young man, this meeting is coming. Take Nobody. That was the first time. That was the first time. Self. What has dominated our life is self, not Jesus. The apostle carried Jesus. I tell you that. It was Jesus everywhere. Jesus. One message Jesus. If I be lifted up, I will draw all men to myself. Jesus, if this come on you today, will you represent Jesus in America? Jesus. Where Paul will say, it's no longer I that live it, but Christ that live in me. For me to die is gain, and to live is Christ. In June, I traveled, and there was an opera. Somebody had gone to preach somewhere and has mentioned my name. And I said, we must do something about this young man. And I called all the fathers involved. You know what they told me? We have told you, leave that place. One father said to me, even if they are giving me one, one million every day, I won't stay there. Say they can hear the gospel in here. Say, leave there. I called the apostle. I said, apostle, I'm sending you a video. See what is happening. Now. Apostle said to me, it's your destiny. Stay. That is what we are called to do. Stephanie, case closed. I will have gone. It's not as if if they ask you to leave, they'll send you transport money. I can tell you that for free. In fact, when you leave, you meet them. They will still connect them. One of the bishop, I had to leave Sokoto, flew down to Abuja to meet him. 
He said, he was, his flight was waiting. He said to me, Ben, Jesus said, go into the world and preach the gospel. Did he say you should stay in Sokot? Go and read your Bible. If I call names, you'll be days. And that old prowl came. The elders of the land gathered together, made some decision. The last guy I had had given it out since. It was, so I was coming back and they arranged security and everything. I didn't tell them the day I came. I landed at the airport, called a stranger to pick me. They said, get a security in your house. I did not get anyone. I still walk around and pray 1 a.m., 12 a.m. I'm here till today. Nobody, nothing happened. Still preaching as a witness. We have traveled into Niger. That was the day we were going for mission work. And it was 11. We left Sokoto 11. We got there 5 a.m. All through the travel. Came down, did what we need to do. Came back again. My wife and children, everybody. But witness. Until Christ consume you, you won't lose touch with the world. You are still in touch with the world. Because Christ has not consumed you. Some of us are here. What we seek for today, if it truly comes on you, question, can you manage it? What will become of you in eternity, pastor? When millionaires begin to come, can you manage them? At one time, somebody gave me money. Oh, uh, April 14, April 13, 2012. Reverend Austin was around Abuja that time. I had nothing. I brought a car looking for who to even buy. Prayed for a woman. Boom. God confirmed it. And then brought a check, one million naira. I can never forget. Zenith Bank on Red Byro. It's a man of God. Just a token. I looked at it to stress out. I heard a voice. Don't call it. Eh? My village people finally came. <laughs> I didn't tell anybody who. That became the seal of authenticity. She left with it. But the next thing that came was bigger. Just one word of knowledge. She was already rattling and brought that. But the Holy Ghost said, don't take it. Somebody did that. Said, don't take it. House in Abuja. Don't. I, you can't tell people some things. I think you are mad. Until Christ consume you, <laughs> you will lose touch with the world. Ye are in the world, but you are not of the world. Yeah. Rise up on your feet. I have six minutes to go. Six minutes to go. Self must die. If Christ must reign, self must what? Die. Ah, somebody question. If you have to, sorry, pardon me, not against those of you in Lagos, but I, I'm not against it at all. Ask somebody that, if the bottom line of pastoring anywhere, well. is it not the same human being you pastor? Somebody said to me, your life will be better. This suffering, you are suffering and shouting everywhere. It's a lie. You are not called for the world. You are called to represent Christ. May God in our midst today raise witnesses. Men that with witness the resurrection and preach the gospel. Lift up your hands and say, Father, I'm here. Hey, lift up your hands. Say, Lord, I'm ready. Lift up your hands and just speak to him. Help me, Lord. Come on, help me, Lord. As I travel around the world, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. 
The prayer is simple this morning. Lord, help me, Lord. Hey. The impartation is coming. The mantle is coming. But Lord, help me, Lord. Olibuza Akelana. Ula kato si kapala. Uje kato sakata. Hosanna, hallelujah. Uje, lift up your hands and help me, Lord. Four minutes to go. Hey. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Help me, Lord. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, help me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, it's just going to flow. It will flow. Just with your hand across. Pray in the Holy Ghost for one minute. Now, something will leave you to somebody else. Something will leave someone else to you. Help them, ushers. Come on. Who come in a heart? Come on. Come on. Just hold your hands together. Pray in the Holy Ghost. One minute. There is something we have seen here in RCN. We have seen in God's servant. I'm a witness to it. Oh, Jesus. Let it drop. Let it drop. Hold your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost. Oh, I pledge allegiance to the Lord. Play that for me. Help me, Lord. Ula kaka kaka. Ijemi la katoska. Let's raise a generation that will stand for the cross. Let's raise a generation of men that will live in righteousness. The integrity of the righteous. We preserve him. You see the money, you say no. You see the gold, you say no. You see the girls, you say no. Hey, Abulaya. Ele yele kebarada kalaba. Can we consecrate ourselves? Ulabani kashu kapala. Telele kuka. Ila ulaba. Uraba kadarasa. Oh, bled. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, lift up your hands. Five people, Holy Spirit. Oh, Spirit of God. There is this one that has a call. Ah. Oh, there's somebody said for Ethiopia, Holy Spirit. Ah, oh my God. There is grace and anointing to take territories. Oh, Jesus. Lift up your hands. Holy Spirit. Let it come. Let it come. Oh, shall help them quickly. Let it come. Let it come. No longer I that live it, but Christ. That live it in me. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Lift up your hands to the Lord. Be quiet. Be quiet, lift up your hands. A few seconds to go. Be quiet. We come against that spirit of divorce in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands to him. We shall not repeat our father's devil. Lift up your hands.
And Lord, I thank you for the last day of this feast. As we gather tonight, the Bible said there was a great joy over that city. We pray tonight from the north, east, west, and south of this region. As we gather tonight, let Jesus be Lord. Heal the sick, deliver the oppressed. Lord, thank you for every vessel you have used thus far. For everything you have done, perfected to the praise and the glory of your name. Thank you, Father. It is done. Give him a big clap.